The Scottish pastor of Parkside Church in Cleveland, United States of America, Alistair Begg, said when preaching on the writing on the wall in Daniel chapter 5, all it takes is for God to lift a finger and everything changes. In 1980, I was leading a church in Wales, and at that time I had a strong sense that God was calling me to be an evangelist. The problem was, though, it meant leaving the security of a paid job and accommodation with nothing in the bank and stepping out in faith. There are a number of situations in scripture where God lifted a finger and it changed the whole course of history. I certainly was fervent in prayer about this and one morning I was reading through the uh, reading through to the end of Joshua chapter 5 and and Joshua had an insurmountable issue called Jericho but learned a big lesson. Listen to these words from chapter 5 of Joshua from reading from verse 13. <clears throat> when Joshua was by Jericho he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold a man was standing before him with his drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua went up to him and said to him, are you for us or are you for our adversaries? And he said, no, I am the commander of the, Lord, of the army of the Lord. Now I have come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? You see, Jericho was the problem but he recognised that the Lord was bigger than the problem he faced. Whenever we see an insurmountable problem, do not fix your eyes on the problem and allow it to dictate to you, but lift your eyes up and see the Lord who is over it. The first step towards victory is to confess that you are second in command. And Joshua went out to look at the problem and he saw God who was over it. That day, God challenged me to make that step of faith, which I did. And as the saying goes, the rest is history. Well, actually, it's his story. All it takes is for God to lift a finger and everything changes. Something to think about today. Have a good one. Bye. God bless.